Hello everyone, this is Hedgehog Ninja 94 um, I figured I'd make this quick tutorial um, since I recently just found out how to do this on um, setting up um, automation for like MIDI control codes for East West Opus in FL Studio so yeah let's get started so first you're gonna want to open up FL like right here Okay, now that you got FL open, you're gonna go over here to your to your channel rack, place the fill in, and go down here. Here's play, and now here we're gonna go to Opus. Okay, and uh, here is the home browsing page for Opus. So what we're gonna do first is um. So you got your side channel here, which is where you're going to show your MIDI channels. Um, we're going to go ahead and just open up a random patch. Like, let's uh, go to Hollywood Strings. The um, Let's see the new 18 violins, long, and um, sustain max. Let's go ahead and add that. Okay, come over to the play window. And this is, now this is where it kind of threw me off before. Like I'm gonna move this slightly over here. I'm gonna open up the browser page then come over here to generator. And you see that's where Opus is, insert one. Now see all of these? But then underneath that, it's like all unassigned. Well, that's because, and I found this out completely by accident. You come over here to the automation page and see basically here the automation parameters. Um, that is what's going to be over here. So what you're going to want to do is see like, look here. CC1 mod modulation wheel and then CC11 which is expression by far the two most commonly used MIDI control codes that you need so what you're gonna wanna do is if you can select it click and drag down over here underneath so here's mod wheel 1 And then expression is going to be right there. Now we come over to the generator page, open that up, and now you can see those two have been added. So I'm just going to quick. So now you can set them up as an automation clip. So now I'm just going to play like com some completely random notes because you know I I can't actually play. I just click all my notes in. So uh so uh, here's a real quick something. Let's see, probably add like a little more to this. Yeah, I'm sorry if I kind of keep messing this up. I, I do this all on the fly, so like no script whatsoever I'm just improvising okay so now like here's your modulation wheel we're gonna kinda put that up here kinda 
and do that. Same with expression. And here's going to be how that sounds. But sorry about that. All right, over in song mode, and here's how it sounds all together. Yeah, and that's pretty much how you do it. And if you want to do... Now, of course, it's going to be set to MIDI channel 1 by default. So if you want to add like multi multiple instruments, now let's like try going to another patch like um, hollow brass, French horns, uh, yes, sus max on that one too. Add it. And that's gonna show up as MIDI can on MIDI channel two as you add them on. So just like before, come over to play. And as you can see, like there's the 18 violins. This is the six French horns. And you're going to want to do the same thing for this instrument too. So click and drag, mod wheel, and expression over to the automation parameter side. OK, come back to player. Then open up the browser generator. And see now this whole section here now just got assigned to what's on channel two. So as you see here, here's mod and expression for the brass. So go ahead and create clips. Now of course you're probably gonna wanna like rename them. so you'll know which is which. So create automation clip for that. So we're, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna, bleh, sorry. I'm gonna go ahead and just rename this. Rename. Like brass mod. Brass Eps, which is short for expression. And you know what? I'm probably going to do the same thing for here. Just... Going to do the same thing with the violins. So now in that same pattern, I'm going to open up the uh, piano roll here. Come over here to channel 2, switch that. that come over to here so I can hear it yeah like honestly I'm not even trying anymore I'm just kind of trying to completely random notes so you'll know what it sounds like with the control codes. So now let's go ahead and listen to what that sounds like with the two together.
And uh, there you have it. That is how you assign control codes and automation patterns to Opus Instruments in FL Studio. And uh, yeah, sorry if I'm kind of stuttered a lot. I'm I'm doing this completely off the cuff, no script whatsoever. So um, yeah, I'm hoping that this um that this becomes really helpful to any of you out there. And uh, yeah, have fun composing. All right, that's all for now. Later. <laughs>